We are a local escape room. Uh, my partner and I, Tracy Whitaker, uh, started this escape room in December of 2016. Each room usually has a scenario. There's a reason you're going into this space, whether um, sometimes it's to find an item, your team and you have to find an item in 60 minutes. Sometimes it's to escape the room. Maybe you've been um, trapped in the space and you have to solve the puzzles to get out. Um, but you have 60 minutes in order to solve puzzles that have been left in there by whoever it was in this scenario has been created by. So the bookings that we began to see were smaller groups, maybe three to four rather than six to eight, definitely family members um, and, and spread out. But as June went on, we, we were getting back closer and closer to being pretty busy, getting back to capacity, getting back to the point where we could actually bring employees back. So we were starting to bring employees back. And then the mask order went into effect probably right there at the end of June, maybe June 20th, 25th, somewhere in there. And then the bookings just dropped right off again. The cases were climbing. Um, and so people were very hesitant to come out. Um, and, and unfortunately, you know, then we had to start letting uh, employees go again. You know, we couldn't have people come in. We had to use just a very basic skeleton crew just due to the number of bookings. Um, and then we had to spread the bookings out quite a bit too. We couldn't have as many in a day because we needed to be able to clean the rooms effectively in between each booking. And, and so that's a, that's a long process because people can touch a lot of things in an escape room. And so you have to spray things down, wipe things down, uh, we took all paper out of the room, so any paper that people could touch, we removed that from the room and either it was laminated or we've had to create some new puzzles to take the place of some of our older puzzles so that they would be easier to clean and disinfect. Uh, many people that we talk to, when they've come to play our escape room and in talking to them afterwards about how they're dealing with this, this might be the first outing that they've had as a family anywhere in two or three months. The feedback has been really strong. Uh, that they appreciate that they can do that and that they can spend time together and that they feel like and they see that we're doing our best effort to maintain a safe and healthy um, facility for them to have fun in. Hardest part with it, though, was probably the fact that we couldn't have employees um, on site. You know, one of the beautiful things about having a small business or building this business is, one, you have people who come in and play the game, so you have your customers, but also creating something in which you're able to employ other people. So other people, because of your imagination, your creativity, your entrepreneurship, your hard work, you give other people an opportunity to have a job. And that was a very rewarding part of being, or it is a rewarding part of being a small business owner. It's probably one of the parts that breaks my heart the most about, you know, where we are is because we can't, we don't have the business right now to have employees back and that's that's a tough place to be so we're just trying to hold it together long enough so that maybe we see it through you know and and then things start to pick up again and we can uh the business will will get busier and and then we can also bring our employees back because that's that's our number one goal is to is to get back to being a, a strong healthy small business in our community